Hey everybody, how's it going? Superfiend here. Welcome back to our legendary Tomb Kings playthrough. Of course, we're playing as legendary Lord Grand Herofant Gatab. And if you didn't know that, then you just must be ignorant. <laughs> I love the uh, I love the voice acting in this, and I can't help but have a little bit of fun impersonating them at the beginning of my campaign and sometimes throughout. So let's take stock really quick here for anybody who may just be uh, stumbling upon this. We, it's uh, turn 77, beginning of our turn. We've recently gained control of Iron Peaks. Marathi is down to this last settlement over here. We also have the Great Guardians and the Ashen Coast. We have taxes turned off everywhere. We got some rebellions incoming. Uh, and we don't want to abandon our ambush stance army over here at Grey Rock Point because uh, there is a small fleet here. And we don't want to abandon our post here at the Moon Shard because Bleakhold Fortress could pop over. We got a little bit of money here. And I want to make sure that I reserve 3,000 because if Marathi shows up with a strong force, I want to be able to do this uh, sandstorm uh, right here that will cause attrition to Marathi. And in the meantime, in the meantime, I think we're going to take Katep. Oh, we can't get all the way there, huh? Can't get all the way there. So we're gonna have to go 50%. Because we're gonna get a rebellion up here. And I guess we'll go ahead and go into that stance there. Works for me. Now, if we go all the way down to here, do we get attrition? We do not get attrition. Now there's gonna be a little rebellion is gonna pop in right here. Uh, let's see. Maybe we only wanna go 50%. Okay, we'll, we'll just go this far. So we'll continue uh, replenishing, and we won't be taking attrition. And we can recruit some more units. Uh, thankfully, we have pretty quick recruit times all the way around, although we can only grab two. Urgh. These uh, these chariot units here, they're kind of they're banged up. So I think we're going to do a merge. And maybe what we'll do is we'll just get, like, um, I don't know, one more of each. And that may be enough to take care of the rebellion when it spawns. If not, we can always just get down here into the settlement and just like skirt around the rebellion. And that leaves us defending this over here, this over here. We don't have any enemies that are like gonna come in on our backside here. I was also looking over our provinces before starting the episode off. And if we jump up here to Iron Peaks, uh, so we got this nice building, which if we get it up to the highest level is going to give income from all buildings. So that kind of makes me think that we want to build uh, the Avenue of Monuments in all three settlements, because just to get a little bit extra income. Uh, however, Iron Spike and Moonshard both have resources, so we do want to have the resource buildings and the walls, which means over here at Moonshard, we got to get rid of one of these. And since the, the Quicksand Swamp, the Cavalry building, goes all the way up to you know, way up here, and I don't really care about the Nehekara Horsemen or so much the Sepulchral Stalkers. I think we're going to uh, demolish this. Uh, we'll probably have to demolish this one too. No, no, we'll keep this one because if we get it up to the third rank, that's going to give us another Screaming Skull Catapult. I think that's kind of better than uh, increasing our recruitment capacity of either of these. And... Uh, we'll pop down over here to Sildra Tor or Great Guardians. Now, at some point, we want to get this built. Uh, really, though, big priority over here. No, Grey Rock Point. Okay, we also we have um, we have resources here and here. So each of these uh, minor settlements are, have resources as well. So. We're going to end up demolishing this chariot building, but not until after we finish that recruitment over there. So for right now, Grey Rock Point, that's the one over here that's under threat potentially from Marathi. We're going to start building the garrison building. Over here in this one, we want to do growth instead and just boost our growth a little bit. Uh, you know what? I'm more concerned about maintaining hold of the settlements so we'll go ahead we'll do the garrison in there as well going back over here to ashen coast i'm inclined to say that we can get rid of this uh low level infantry building in here 
Um, this, this entire province is about as unremarkable as it can get. No resources, no special buildings. It's just like generic all the way across the board. So I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna demolish that. Uh, we probably could demolish this growth building. Probably could, but I'm going to hold on to it for just a little bit longer. Uh, mainly because if we demolish it, uh, we won't be able to afford to put anything else worthwhile in its stead. So, And then over here, this is all looking pretty good. We don't want to demolish anything else. Uh, Moonshard... I think this is all looking good. We will most likely end up demolishing this brass works to uh, drop this in, and then this settlement will end up being the avenue of monuments, the walls, and the resource building. So I don't. Well, I don't know. Maybe we could just drop this right now. Yeah, let's drop it. We're gonna we're gonna end up dropping it. Um, forget about the uh, screaming skull catapult that we could eventually get out of it. That looks pretty good. Uh, in terms of recruitment. We can recruit right now with Grand Hierophant Katep. Um, I would like to get a Bone Giant. However, I don't want to lock him in place for three turns. So we're going to go ahead down here to this army. And we're going to drop... Uh, one unit of uh, Skeleton Spears. And start bringing in a Bone Giant. We are going to want to transfer the Bone Giant to whichever army has this Necrotech. Because this guy uh, boosts the uh, the bone giant. Uh, over here we have a skill point, and we're gonna put this into into. Let's see. You know th this this guy is not gonna last long. Like as soon as we start actually unlocking the dynasties, we're gonna be replacing these lords. So for now, sun scorched bones. Uh, we got 11 turns on the uh, second dynasty here. All the other ones are at one turn remaining. And as soon as we finish, um, like get this down to one, we'll, we'll pick one of these and unlock it. And then maybe we'll work on unlocking some of these heroes and this up here and, and whichever the bottom one is. And then we'll look at maybe these over here. Uh, long term wise, I think uh, our main strategy is we want to wipe out Marathi. We may find ourselves at war with Nagarond. Um, I think most of this up here is Skaven, and we're currently friendly with them. And there's a book in the Gash up here that would be nice to get because it increases our research rate by 10%, which 10% uh, would put us at 130%. And then when we unlock one of these and get the minus 30, we'll be just squarely right back at 100% research rate. That's uh, that's pretty good. Okay, forget the rebellions. And uh, we don't have any extra heroes or anything we can recruit, and no money to build or any of that good stuff, so... Boop! See what happens here. I'm hoping by the end of this episode, we'll have uh, destroyed the Cult of Pleasure. And are potentially looking at moving up this way. That's where I'd like to be by the end of the episode. Okay, who's that? That was a Skaven army. We got Sildratore rebels. That was a really quick uh, sequence of moves. Darn it, they confederated. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Gained a skill point here on our mage. We've got the replenished troops. We've got the canopic jars or canopic jars, however you want to say it. Cleanse corruption. Yeah. I don't really know how I feel about all these skills and stuff down here. Like this, direct damage. High chance opponent will resist the damage. Weak versus a single combatant and then minus 24 speed. Ooh. Uh, 40% armor-piercing missile damage, 40% missile damage. I mean, that would be pretty good casting it on, like, say, a Bone Giant, right? Last 32 seconds, 
Overcasting it uh, increases reload skill, so I guess they just fire faster. Which would be good, because then they'll get more shots out uh, during the 32 seconds. And then so it costs it costs seven to cast here, ten to cast here, but then down to eight to cast here. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna end up with a bone giant in this army, so let's go ahead, let's do that. Uh, oh, and we also we already have the screaming skull uh, catapults. So, all right, let's go wipe these guys out. Um, I'm gonna auto resolve this. Goody. We'll take the jars. Uh, we also we have lots of jars, lots of resources. It would not be a bad idea to look at uh, crafting some items, but I'm not terribly concerned with getting that done at this moment. Um, I was looking at them before I started the episode. Okay, you know what? Oh, that's Nagaron. Um, mm. Gosh, man, do we want to go to war with Nagaron? I don't know. Definitely not. I really, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Uh, we'll auto resolve this one too. I expect to maybe lose some units. Skeleton chariot, skeleton archer chariot. Everything else is is cool. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you get in there? Okay, we got good public order. Terrible public order here. Let's turn on our taxes. If we get another rebellion up here, we'll, we'll just come out and get some more jars. Now we're up to 1,600 income per turn, plus four over here. Let's turn on our taxes, and let's... Uh, uh, 3,000. Uh, before we do that... Growth uh, 10. In oh, this only this doesn't give us a flat income. It gives income from trade. 2%. 1% to 2%. Wow, an extra 1%. That'd be a whole uh, 7 income per turn, guys and gals. Wow. I don't know if I can turn that down. Like... Well, I guess it's still decent in lieu of a growth building. Just really not that excited about it. Uh, what about what about up here? Okay, let's get the garrison building going there. Uh, that's gonna take up most of our most of our income per turn. I don't want to do that quite yet. And we got a couple turns here. I think we're gonna go to war with Nagarond. I'd like to see Nagaron. I'd like to see what kind of armies and stuff they have over there first. Uh, who's not moved? Oh, boy. And there was a Skaven army. Let's, uh, are they in here? I only see Clan Rictus. And these guys, they don't want to, they don't want to trade with us for some reason. They're being really stingy about it. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's take this guy. Let's go scouting with him. Let's kind of go look at the lay of the land up here. We can uh, see if there's any Skaven in these settlements. Because if there's no Skaven right here, uh, maybe we want to come in, like, settle right here, and then just declare war on these guys. Although, I really do have a feeling that there's Skaven in there. And I'm not going to uh, build the, any other buildings in here until I get the uh, the walls done. And uh, next turn, next turn, we'll upgrade the Moonshard Town Center. I think. I think is what we'll do. Uh, trade agreement dissolved with Tiranak. So we lose a little bit of money there. Okay, Clan Rictus is probably still asking for that alliance. They want a lot of money for it, but no thanks. We may find ourselves at war with them at some point, because they, I think, occupy most of this territory, which is territory that we want for ourselves. 
Okay, Iron Peak's gonna get another Rebellion. I like it. We'll just come out and squish it, get some money and all that. We're gonna upgrade Moonshard. And next turn, as long as it doesn't cost too much, we'll upgrade this. I'm gonna hold off on upgrading Soul Farts. <laughs> uh, let's see, can I... Should I come out here and pick some of this stuff up? Who are we at war with? Are we at war with anybody? I don't think we're at war with anybody. Yeah, we're not at war with anyone. This is a great time to uh, pop out here and go scoop up a couple of these things. Okay, because we're not at war. This guy here. One of each chariot and... Some skellies. One more turn on this guy and his bone giant, and we can march him up this way. Chaos Corruption's going down. It's going to settle. Untainted is going to settle at 85%. So pretty soon we won't be taking attrition in that uh, province anymore. Hey, and we want to we wanna go check out Clark Spire. Let's see what's going on up there. And over here, we still got positive one public order. It's really not that much. Ashen Coast. Oh, if we uh, if we spend the three thousand, if we spend the three thousand, uh, we'll get plus one public order in adjacent provinces. And I would imagine that that would affect this one and that one. Um, well, maybe not because it looks like this doesn't count. At the mountains break the uh, break the connection here. Oh, but wait, uh, they're connected up here. They're connected right up here, right? Because this one goes in that way. So uh, for 3,000, we could get plus one public order here and here. That's not too bad. Uh, we don't need this guy, and I'm not spending 4,000 to do that. Oh, you guys are getting annoying. Get out of here. Uh, another thing I could do is I could potentially go through and ask all the factions that like us for money. I've been I've been abusing that a little bit in my Ungrim campaign, and honestly, it's one of the things keeping the campaign going because that campaign is uh, is kind of rough. Let's uh, let's start this turn off with doing that. Like, look at all these factions that like us, right? Um, but let's just go right down the list here. Payments. Will you bow beside me? Loic forbids us. Okay. Let's just ask for like eight hundred. No, we cannot. Oh, I know you got some money you can part with. I know you can. Loic forbids us. Just because you like us, I know you'll do. Okay, three hundred. Very well. Yeah. See, look, three hundred. We didn't have to do anything. This is a very, very wealthy faction. I think. No. Maybe not. Moderate. Isha forbids it. She does, does she? Uh, why don't you go back and ask Isha again? This cannot happen. Come on, give us a little bit of money. Seven yeah, months. see? We're up to 800. Let's go see what we can get out of Lothern. We can get 500. That put us up to. Ooh, no, I'm not gonna do it. I cannot. Okay, I don't see us getting anything out of that. Come and join me. Yes, these the guys. And the tomb kings have much to discuss. You're poor. We used to trade, right? I think this unwise. Gladly. Look at that. We're up to 1,100. We didn't even do anything for it. We just played around in the uh, diplomacy screen. Unlikely. Okay, unlikely. The lizards, they love us. They're very powerful. Moderate. Do not interest me. Uh, 
23. 18. Oh, we just got 1,800. <laughs> These guys. 23. No. For another 18 out of these guys. Come on now. Never ever. Never ever, huh? 13. 13! Oh, look at that! We're making money hand over fist. Do not greet me as a friend, nor are we foes. Yes? New world. I am ready to parley. I hope your words are wise. Oh, he's not very wealthy. A fool's action. All right. Hey, look at that. We just got a whole pile of money. Uh, we're up to 10,000. We didn't have to work very hard for it. That's awesome. And then let's go fight the rebellion here before we spend any of our 10,000. We want to get as much money as we could possibly get. Oh, boy. Gosh, you know, I keep looking at this. The Ushabti. Do we really want Ushabti in this guy's force? I mean, do we really need him for, for Katep? Or do we want to put him on a casket of souls? Uh, hero, t okay, leadership for Ushati, Scorpion, Hero, Titan, uh, War Sphinx, Necro Sphinx. Weapon strength for all of those. Magic resistance for all of those. What about here? Horsemen, basically all the cavalry and chariots. And that would be armor, melee attack, and physical resistance. And then right here, missile resistance. Missile damage. Ammunition. And this is uh, Screaming Skull Catapults included. Bone Giant units, which we're going to we're gonna stick a Bone Giant in this guy's force. Uh, does not include the Casket of Souls. Uh, let's do the Blessing, Blessing of the Asp. Okay. A little bit more uh, missile damage and stuff out of these. Uh, are these... Uh, so okay, yeah, it is affecting missile damage and ammunition, so that's good. And then these guys are now doing twenty-three missile damage. I think that's all right. Um, if we go back in here and we look, we also we have this too. So ammunition and twelve percent missile damage, and then this will be ammunition and twelve percent. So up to twenty-four percent missile damage. And then if there's any other like things that we can get on any of these guys that increase missile damage in the army, which I'm not sure that there are, but you know, I guess I should look out for that kind of stuff. Uh, what about in here? Oh, Bone Giant's not, uh, not in these skills, huh? I guess when they did the, uh, the Bone Giant upgrade because that's like a new unit that just came out recently i guess they forgot to go in and like add add him in here somewhere on the skill tree oh well that's okay lord not moved oh i forgot to attack the rebellion i'm getting distracted with all the goodies all right let's uh let's go wipe these guys out oh let's not wipe them out let's uh let's get right up here we're not at war with anybody, so we can leave this uh, undefended for now. Farm some rebellion. Boop. Take the jars. Look at that. No longer taking attrition in our own settlement. Let's uh, let's just go right into our raiding stance. Get right back up here. We're gonna get a rebellion next turn. Cha ching! <laughs> so abusive. That's so abusive. Uh, Necrotact, Necrotact. Um, uh, speed and hit points. We'll do that for right now. I'm not really concerned with getting that guy uh, on a mount. It's just, I don't really care right now. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one here. We'll put it on our catapults. It should affect the catapults, right? I'm not crazy. Armor piercing missile damage. Missile damage. So, uh, target if missile attack possible. So, I'm hoping that it affects the 
the catapults the way that we would expect it would. And seven turns here on the dynasty. Uh, let's see if we uh, are we earning any money here because we're raiding. Yeah, let's cause more rebellions. Okay, lots of money. Lots of money. We need to upgrade sulfurets. We need to get walls in the minor one. Uh, that's 53. It's too soon for that. Oh man, I'm ten. Oh, you know what? Maybe uh, 48 over here. Oh, what do I want more? Upgrade this. This one is uh, it's level one. So is this one. Okay, you know what? Garrison buildings. I'm doing the garrison buildings because I I just I don't want to lose settlements. That's okay. Clan Pestilence is right there. You, you are dead nothing to offer treat they don't like us very much they have 14 settlements they are a little bit powerful if we declare war on them and they like they land and fight with us oh, they may decide to fight with us how far can he move oh we might want to move a little bit further away we may have to uh, drop in here to gray rock point these guys could be our next um our next enemy. They don't like us. Nagaron also does not like us. No <laughs> they dislike us a lot more. It could be both of them. Alright. Oh, I forgot to move him. Darn it. Darn it. It's because when I clicked last time, he had that little bit of red movement left, and so that counts as moving him, and then you don't get the, uh, you don't get the alert. And I think I have alerts turned off for that agent anyways, so... Uh, his swaddle has swallowed up Itza. Okay. They're focused on each other. Leave me, leave me out of it. I don't want to be involved. Not aggression with you guys. Not aggression. Um, sure. And that will make sure that his swaddle stays happy with us. Okay, let's... 540. Let's go see if there's any Skaven in here. I bet there is. Scout rune. Success. Oh. It's empty. So we could go settle that. We could go settle that. Oh man, why is it so hard to get over here to that one? Cruise over here, and let's go scoop this one up. Boop. Uh, better in campaign. Ah, we'll ignore that one down there. Okay, scooping up treasures. Okay, we're gonna ignore all that, and we'll ignore all of this because we're gonna wait till this is built, and then we'll get the walls. And then over here, we don't have enough money to build uh, what I would want to build, so. Wipe these guys out again. Boop, easy peasy, 30 more jars. Look at that. Look at us, we're stars. I'm back up here. On your knees. Get that rebellion. Next turn. Okay, Mr. Katap. Alright, we're doing the... Uh... Ooh. Uh. 
Uh, how many... Oh, we got a lot of skill points. Oh, does it only go up to 30 or does it go up to 40 now? It goes up to 40, right? Uh, leadership for none of the good, none of the good cavalry. It's all the uh, lower cavalry. What do we got here? Not bad. So this is uh, one. Five, six, ten. And then we would have like eight skills left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, like seven, eight. If we wanted to go all the way down here and get this. I don't think I want any of his, uh, his casting abilities. I don't really care about that. Uh, interesting. The bone, the bone giant is nowhere. Okay, here's bone giants. Good. Uh, so income from raiding, twenty percent. That's not bad. I think we got enough jar regeneration. So I'm thinking we may do some blue line and go down here for the uh, the last one. And I don't know, maybe we'll do like... Imperishable, like one here, one there. I don't know, two in here. I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of ambushes. But I don't know, I couldn't tell you. And then down in here. All right, for now, because I'm wasting a bunch of time, we're gonna put this guy, Grand Hero Font. <laughs> we're gonna put the point right there. Uh, this fellow here, we'll put another point in there. Yes, good. Who's not moved? He's not moved. Ah, we don't care about that. Imminent Rebellion here. Another Lord not moved. And we did that. We got six turns on our Dynasty. 3,000 in our Treasury. Yeah, that's about as much as we could do right now. It's a very laid back episode. Not a whole lot of excitement going on here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get our infrastructure built up so that we have the walls and everything we need. And then that will make it easier for us to leave our settlements. Um, you know, we could leave like maybe two armies behind to protect and then like move out with three armies to go attack and settle and stuff like that. Uh, but without having walls in our settlements, we're, we're not going to get very far with all that stuff. Lots of raiding. Oh, uh, did you you pick that up? No, I picked it up. I thought there was one right there. There's not. Yay! Better in campaign, favorable wins, and a small boost to our treasury. Let's see. We want to go here next turn. There. I guess we'll go down there. Uh, sand, sun scorched bones, not sand scorched. Uh, you know what? We just attack him. Doesn't matter. 
We are just raking in the jars. We have unlocked another regiment of renown as well. And another guaranteed rebellion. Ha 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 ha. All right, casket of souls. The realm of souls fills with my foes. Oh, you know what? We gotta transfer the bone giant over. Uh, what do we want here? You know, let's give this guy income from sacking. Why not? What? Uh, can you two trade units? Trade units, come on. We're going to be building the marble here. Uh, okay, we're going to dismantle this. Gonna give us a little bit of money. And next turn we should be able to get some marble. Uh, let's not forget. Yeah, we haven't moved you yet. Yeah, we don't have good odds there. Let's go up this way. Check things out. We could do that. Get a little bit of money. Okay, they got one of their little plague doom engin engineers. Let's uh, let's cruise up this way though. Here's one of the books in the gash, I believe. We want to start heading up that way if we can. And five turns down here. And for five thousand, we could get another uh, casket of souls, which is not terrible. It is nice to have the. Uh, the extra range damage from that thing. Non-aggression. We don't have a non-aggression pack with you. Just got a trade agreement, huh? Uh, okay, non-aggression. Yeah, okay, they just squished that Skaven force. So I wonder, how would we be able to occupy Heshwaddle without... Losing our favor with them. Uh, because one of the books in the Gash, and it's actually, it's a nice one, is we have to occupy his Schwaddle. We have to go to war with them. The Campaign movement range. Spent multiple turns at sea. Campaign movement range. Wait, where are you? Well, who's the last guy that got it? What? You. Oh my gosh. Who is this? Oh, the Lich Priest. Oh, because he's in the army. Okay, they're both in the army. I was like, who? Who got all this stuff? And how many turns did we spend at sea? It was like one, two, three, four, five, like five turns, give or take. Okay, we're gonna get a rebellion down there, which is good. He can take care of that, no problem. Two turns here. We're getting so many jars. This is so stupid. Oh, I forgot to transfer the Bone Giant over. Let's see if we can do it now. Now we can do it! Uh, what do we want to give up for the Bone Giant? I think we'll give up the Regiment of Renown. And we'll let that go up there to that force. Yes. Victory in our death. Legendary Lord Katep. He doesn't have a point to spend. This guy does. There we go. Increase the hit points. Looking good there. Uh, rebellion next turn. Yippee. It's time. Oh, let's cruise up this way. Yeah, 
yeah, Nagaron is, is where we're going to have to fight next. We're almost there here. Four turns. Four turns down here. Got to keep an eye on it. We don't want it to sneak away from us. Uh, Lord not moved. Imminent Rebellion. Settlement upgrade. Imminent Rebellion. Yada, yada, yada. And we're up to 9,600. In our treasury, which is not bad. these guys out yay more jars <laughs> oh my gosh it's so many jars this is stupid it is it's stupid i love it sun scorched uh bones oh it spawned over here this time okay that's cool We'll just go kill you up there then. Doink. 60 jars per turn. This is how it's done. Okay, and we'll get a rebellion next turn again, most likely. Oh man, these guys. What are they doing? Are they force marching? Can we see what he's got? Yeah, that's not good. I don't like the way that looks. Oh, it's this crazy nut. This crazy bright wizard. Okay, over here. We're one turn away down there. Right, what about here? Okay, let's get that going. Uh, this one, Gray Rock Point, has all the goodies, so we'll build the marble now. Forty-eight hundred to upgrade this. Let's do our uh, our walls. And we'll just keep uh, cruising up with this guy. Go pick up more stuff. And Katap with another skill point. Is it time to go blue? I think it's time to get some blue stuff. Okay, so we're going to do... Um, we're going to put points into Casualty Replenishment. I know that um, the, the Lich Priests have it already, but in case we take them out of his army, um, I still want him to have some nice Casualty Replenishment. So we'll put like two points in here. And then maybe two points in the rating. I mean, you know, 12%. It's not as good as 20, but 12% is still decent. And then 12% Replenishment rate is kind of nice. The Day of Awakening. And three turns. Three turns on our dynasty. Oh, look at this. Uh, Nagaron is, is doing a ritual. So that means that they're going to have uh, chaos forces and maybe interventions stomping around in their territory. This could be a, like a decent time to try to attack them. Uh, what do we got here? Spent multiple turns in a raiding stance. That's King Yuri Taman. We'll end up replacing him, though, at some point. 
Uh, let's see. You know, because I think we're going to replace this guy at some point, let's just do um, jars. And we'll get some jars out of him for now. Tep gained another level. Okay, Soul Reaper it is. This guy gained a level. Uh, can we put points in here yet? Yeah, we can. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, we're going to go in here, and I think we're going to do the, uh, the Ushabti when we get there. Okay, and the reason is, is because one of these guys up here, this guy gives you two unit capacity to Ushabti. Um, so with the Necrotect and this guy, we could get more Ushabti. And, and this guy could start off with um, lots of, like, more Ushabti than he should be able to from us building just a single Ushabti building, which we haven't done yet. So maybe, maybe we want to think about building one. Uh, let's, uh, let's see, let's... Move people first. Man, would you guys, like, hold still? I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Oh, this guy leveled. Yoink. Construction cost, minus 30% for all buildings, all regions. Income from all buildings, 10%. How long does that last? Six turns. Six turns. Okay, right there, we shouldn't take any attrition. This is high seas. High seas. High seas. High seas. Apparently, this is all high seas, but... Um, apparently, this is deeper. Whatever, not gonna argue with it. Uh, are we ready to upgrade this one? We are! Boop! 23... And let's upgrade Iron Spike. And Moon Shard. Resources. And then we'll do the uh, Charnel Plaza. And we'll put another Charnel Plaza over here. That's, uh, that's all of our money. We want to build as much as we can right now, though. Oh my gosh, it's so tempting to go to war with Nagaron right now. It really is. We got two turns here. Uh, how wealthy is this settlement? Is it tell us down here? 452? 39? Like, if we were to go raid in their territory a little bit... Like, like, look how fast we're getting jars. We could get up to 1,600 jars pretty quickly. And potentially, like, after one or two sacks, get the 20,000 and just get another army out of that. It's possible. Oh, I think we want to declare war on Nagaron. It, it just feels like, like a teeny tiny bit, like, too premature. Oh, uh, dude, everyone just piled in on Nagaron. Oh boy. A couple turns before we get a rebellion over here. Rises from the sands, sets 
Okay, we're gonna take attrition going after this. Oh no, we're not. Get our, our animals there. Ooh, 2100. Okay, so let's, uh, Treasury 590. Yeah, we'll get the jars again. Alright, uh, we're gonna drop this guy in here. Okay. Uh, does this put them at... Really? No. Why minus 12? Oh, do we have that insane thing from the Chaos Corruption? Do these guys have, like, really bad uh, public order penalties? From hanging out in... Ca yeah, public order plus five, minus five, I mean. Public order minus five. Public order minus five. We have it on Katep, too. We need to get him out of here. Public order minus five enemy province. Okay, so if we uh, if we take a tap and we just like uh, skedaddle into here, that balances out our public order. Okay, and that could just stay the way it is for right now. We're gonna we're gonna let this one go to rebellion. I gotta turn off our taxes here. Okay, so next turn, we'll have enough money to build the um, the level 3 public order duty ad over here. And with... Uh, ooh, they lost this stuff. We need to get up there. Uh, 20% casualty replenishment. That's a lot. But I think... Put a point in the rating. We're gonna put this guy on a horse. Ooh, one turn. Okay, here it is. We have to pick. Uh, well, I could decide to do none, but I don't know if that really gets us anywhere. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, this guy is not like in particular like spectacular. Campaign movement range ten percent is nice. Infantry and chariot buildings, uh, construction costs, that's nice, the reduction. So, I mean, this down here is good. Uh, this fella here, ward save, tax rate 5% faction wide, public order plus one all provinces, ah, that's kind of nifty. Uh, growth plus 10, income from post battle loot 10%, that's kind of good too. Additional tradable resources, faction wide 10%, not bad. What do we get down here? Public order plus two all provinces. Income from settlement buildings, 10%. Construction cost minus 10% for uh, town centers, basically. And then... But this guy, he's all about like the cavalry. And so is this guy, except we got a little bonus here to bone giants. And another 10% uh, missile damage to skeleton archers. So that's kind of good too. Up here, Ushabti. We don't have the building for them yet. Uh, construction cost. Wall, garrison, citadel, uh, and estate buildings. Ambush success chance 10%, like across the board. That's pretty good. Here are recruit rank plus two for Lich Priests. This is okay. Not as exciting. Uh, this guy here boosts chariots, more or less. And then construct recruitment buildings. Those buildings are very expensive. Uh, and a plus one global, or a plus one uh, local recruitment capacity to all provinces could be good. So, all things considered. Construction time, 35% for all buildings, local province.
growth plus 10, income from post-battle loot, income from trade. Oh, man. This is actually kind of tough. Um... This is all Nehekara warriors, which we're not using a lot of. We do have quite a bit of Tomb Guard. Well, what makes our Tomb Guard good? Hero Titan. Here's our Tomb Guard right in here. And this is the guy that does the Ushabti. And then... Income from sacking and then construction costs for the walls and garrison. So... Alright, we're switching over to the 4th Dynasty. And we're going to bring in this La Misash of the 4th Dynasty. And we're going to go after uh, this and these things. And that's where we're going to go. Alright, end turn. We're happy with our trade agreement. Nothing else. No mas. And bam! Just like that. Oh, minus two over here, huh? Uh, just like that, though, our research has been reduced by 30%, but we're still above 100%. Look how look how good I did that. Isn't that isn't that good? I've done good. I'm proud of myself. Uh, boy. Stronger binding. Uh, let's do the tomb guard stuff. Yeah, because we got lots of tomb guards. Grab this. Treasury 1800. Yippee. Okay, we got a couple more we can go grab. So we'll go this way and then that way. Of a rebellion here. He'll kill it. No problem. Uh, Katep. Really? Is that as far as you can move? That's not very far. There's our little guy here. I think I forgot to move him next turn. Uh, let's turn his uh, notification back on so I don't forget. And now over here, I think is a good time to upgrade. Is it free? Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Is there no cost? What? What's going on? Okay, there's cost there. There's cost here, 27. I guess it's free. All right. Uh, just in case you're wondering, some of, a lot of these uh, units in here, they have the Charnel Valley Necrotech, which gives construction costs minus 15%. I think each one of these guys has it. So that's minus 60% plus the other, like, uh, building minus 30%, so minus 90%, and who knows, maybe there's something else going on over there, and that's why it's free. Okay, this is just purely just growth. It's really kind of stinky. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's build that. Mm, what do we want here? Do we want to go ahead and spend 27? I guess. This is all free. <laughs> wow. Okay, well. And in two turns, our Tomb Guard is going to be a lot stronger.
I think all of this is Skaven. I think they're already in here at the pits of Zardok. Get some more jars the easy way. Um, all right, let's stop raiding. Let's go sit in the settlement. This guy's going to get replaced too, so you know what? Um, he can gather up some jars for us. Yeah. Eh, what do we got over here? Is it a skull? The skulls are worth a lot less uh, now than they used to be. We're going to uh, bring this guy back in. We've, we've gotten as much stuff as we need to over there. Now we've built everything we can over here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're going to save our money for a turn or two. And we're going to cruise up this way. I want to get in here. And then this guy. Oh, man, that is a big, bad army. I don't know if we could take them with this guy all by himself. I don't know that we could. Oh, and we don't have to. You know why? Because when I completed that that thing, uh, we can get another, uh, another guy here. Let's, um... All right, let's spend 200 jars and get Lamizas, Lamizash of the uh, Fourth Dynasty in here. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I didn't think of that. I can get another army now, so let's do it. This is such a bizarrely peaceful campaign. I don't think I've ever had any other campaign where I've been not at war with people for as long and had so many like positive relations all over. All right, good. And then we'll go back in and Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this one. We'll spend the five k. Okay, so we're at plus four public order in there. And with this guy next turn, we can go boop. Go just pick that up real quick. Is there one up in here? Sometimes there is. Yeah, we can grab that one too along the way. Get some jars for us, friend. Anything that we can give you in here? Like anything worthwhile? Nah. Oh, we got a skull over here, but we'd have to we'd have to hop in the water this way. I'd rather get this first and then just use it as a port. So here we go. Yes, master. Man. I hope we can get in here and get this. And then Lazimash. Or Lamizash of the Fourth Dynasty. Hello, welcome to the club. How you doing? Route Marcher. That. Now this guy, this guy gives additional Ushabti. Unit capacity plus two for Ushabti. So we really want him to have the Herald of Resetra. And that's it for now. Give him some of these things. I still am not like crafting anything. <laughs> okay, and then look at all these awesome like regiments of renown that we can pull in too. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, we're down to pretty much basic units here, so let's do one, two, three, and then some spears. Okay, 
Okay, we moved here. Positive public order. Yeah, we're looking good. Alright, public order plus two, just like that. Dynasty researched. Mission issued. Um, kill 500 enemies in battle. That's not too hard. Alright, now we'll go in and we'll uh, we'll complete that. Address me as your highness. On your Let's cruise this guy up this way. Oh, and then now he can't do global. I'm such a... I don't know why I keep forgetting that, but... There. Ah, they got in there. They got it. I look safe here. You keep stay your distance. Hmm. I know where lost, stolen relics are. Just need something in in return. All right, let's uh, nah. let's get military access with Emma. what? Well, I'm not paying you for it. So, well, I think uh, I think next up is we're gonna go to war with Nagaron. I think we're gonna we're gonna come up here. Yeah, we're gonna go hit Nagaron up there. I think what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll spend a thousand. We're gonna go more uh, public order just so that we can get uh, the the leaking public order into this province and this province. And yoink. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll just go all the way through and then we'll grab this one and grab this one and then we'll be home with all of that good stuff. Let's check trade. In life, you were tedious. Your... Come and join me. The Asur and the Tomb Kings have much to discuss. Quite impossible. Quite impossible, she says. How wise. There we go. Uh, what about you guys? Stop. You ready to sing a different tune? Trade agreement. Find the green. No. You'll come around eventually. I know you will. You can't be stubborn forever. You can't. Nah, uh, uh. So the question is, which way are we going to come in and hit Nagaron? Do we want to like come in here, or do we want to go up here? Uh, which one of these is? Oh, this is a province of four. Yeah, we want to um. We want to hit this, the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. It's not even it's not even defended. This is where we want to go. We want to nail this right here. That's our target. And then they're probably at war, right? You're at war with Nagaron? You are, yeah. See, Nagaron is they're busy. They're not going to be able to fight with us. Everybody hates them right now. It's a dog pile against Nagaron. So what we'll do is we'll go take that capital with Katep. 
If Nagaron tries to counterattack us or move in to hit us up there, we'll use that ritual that causes attrition. Or the right that causes attrition. And, you know, they'll have to lay siege because it's a provincial capital. And, um, Kotep with his bone giant, screaming skull catapults, I mean, we'll just rip that settlement to shreds. It's gonna be a thing of beauty. There we go. And our tomb guard just got a lot stronger. We don't currently have any uh, hero titans, so I guess we'll do this. And we'll just keep earning money, too, while we're at it. We are looking good. Let's go grab this here. It's the, uh, the same one we just got. Are they respawning yet down here? No. Okay. So we'll take this guy. We'll drop him over here at Grey Rock Point. Four turns. Um, this will finish right about the time we're getting ready to attack, I believe. Okay, right here, because I goofed up. This is going to give us... Ooh. Okay, more carry in. And then, um, I guess we'll do it like that. Oh, and then, uh, Intef gained a rank. Uh, Ushati for La Mizash, or whatever his name is when we, uh, when we get there. Okay, now let's see. Oh yeah, we are totally, we are totally gonna go and smash this building, this uh, settlement. We'll just, <laughs> we'll raid our way right through uh, Nagaron's territory. Oh, we haven't moved him yet. Oops. Is this Nagaron? It is. Are we gonna suffer attrition? We're not. We're trespassing. Oh, they're going to be so angry with us. Clan Rictus and everybody else though is going to be really happy. And in the process of taking their territory, we'll probably get a few uh, a few more jars, and if we can somehow get up to 20,000 in our treasury, we just get another army just like that without hurting our research rate. I mean, I know that's a very expensive use of the jars, but I'm totally willing to do it. Uh, Iron Peaks. Where is that? Ooh. Ooh. Enemy hero action success chance. No. Uh, okay, we'll do the one that increases our cost. And we'll swing around the corner here. No chance of a rebellion here. Boy, 8,200. That's so much. And this is 67. Why is this one 67? And this one is 82. Oh, is it because of the uh, the unsuitable climate things cost more? Construction cost plus 30%. Oh, good grief. What a nightmare. Uh, you know what? We're gonna bring this guy this way. Now, who's this? The Forge Bound? And then who's this? I don't know. Th this guy, like... Oh, I don't know. His troops are trash. I was going to say, we might be able to storm our way through here a little bit, but I don't know that he can do it. Uh, let's see. Extra 307 per turn. Put this guy on a horse now. Arise, my warriors. They 
Look at like this is all undefended. And I think that's what uh, why the Skaven are up here. Ooh, should I just? Oh man, should I just go hit them? I think I need to just hit them because the Skaven are right behind me. Yeah, the, the Skaven are right behind me. All right, here we go. Harganeth. All right, well, we're at war with Harganeth now. Whatever. And bam, just like that, we completed that quest. Let's get, let's see. We're gonna start putting points into this one for each of them. All right, Nagarond. I know you're gonna be mad. Is that Marathi? No. Okay, well we got enough money that if they show up in our territory and it's a strong force, all we gotta do is get into a settlement before they lay siege and use the sandstorm attrition ritual right whatever you want to call it and they'll just wither away so i'm not worried about it i am not worried about it got to be careful with this guy though we could blunder into um a stronger force see look they hopped under they hopped under And that guy's just running loops in here, so. Uh, we'll go ahead, and this is for our hero titans. I'm not really sure which way Nagaron will go first, so we're going to just drop in down here. And if they come this way, they come this way. 82, man, that's a lot of money. A lot of beans. Uh, we'll spend 480. Okay, we'll auto this. And we'll just... Uh, We'll raise it. Oh, cool. We got an opal amulet for him. That's a good item. We're going to do casualty replenishment. Two points. Uh, because we're going to need to go into the um, replenishing stance. Okay, next turn. Uh, we should be able to get over into here let's uh let's scout this way let's like see what they got Did we wound you really bad odds he'll try to, he's gonna try to wound us okay next turn we want to get the altar of ultimate darkness that's our goal rebellion here Uh, let's turn off taxes for now. 67. Um, all right, let's 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 start this because it's going to take five turns on top of everything else. We still have enough for um, this uh, this one here. The Great Incantation of Kassar. I know, this is an action-packed episode, isn't it? It's it's so peaceful. This is such like a laid back campaign. I, I feel like it's gonna start to get kind of crazy in the next in the upcoming episodes though with us at war with Nagaron. But I mean I don't know. Cause everybody hates them, literally. No, they wounded one of our priests. Darn.
And the Skaven have settled that, which is, that's okay. That's cool. I don't mind that. I think the volcano just erupted over there. Okay, Iron Peaks, Rebellion, Chaos, guys destroyed, we were wounded. Okay, first order of business. I alone shall restore Get ourselves some jars. Um, uh, let's see. We got quite a few turns, so let's, um... Let's think about, uh, the worship of Petra, Petra. And let's think about that same one in here, uh, for the increased campaign movement range inside of our territory because if Nagaron shows up you know we may have to we may have to be able to move around really fast we got lots of public order in here so we'll go ahead and do it in this one too okay this is owned by the forge bound and we'll go into this stance and replenish Really, we only get to know that it's Skaven for a single turn. All right, not gonna argue. Okay, very low uh, chance of success, but we're gonna try to wound this Death Hag and get her out of our face. Oh, look at that! Sometimes you get lucky. Okay, an extra four percent chance to wound and. I guess we'll keep the infrastructure thing. And then now... Yeah, okay, we'll go... We'll go take this real quick. Uh, we're gonna have to fight this one. Because the balance of power is totally goofed. But we'll have... We'll have no problem getting into this settlement. In fact, I don't know why the balance of power is so stacked in, uh, like, their favor. We will completely destroy this settlement. Okay, so we're gonna, um, let's see. We're gonna take a lot of, uh, missile fire from the walls, no matter where we sit. This guy here. Okay, who's got the most missile damage? 672, 900, 229. But it is uh, multiple projectiles. Armor piercing. This guy's probably armor piercing. And bonus versus large. Um, okay, so the Casket of Souls has got the... Uh, the good damage. Now this here... This is the one we want. For eight wins of magic. And then we'll hit this tower. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that one volley just ripped it apart. Ripped it apart. Holy moly. Okay, let's aim at the other tower now. The Casket of Souls will finish this one off. Unbelievable. So much damage. And that'll take care of that. A little bit of time here before we can uh, cast that one again. Oh, 
Oh, does Katep have uh, missiles now? Oh, he does. He's been firing. I don't know what he's been. Oh, he's got the little ones. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So much damage. Let's destroy the gate. Because by shooting the gate, we'll hit some of this, this corrupt on top. Shoot all this stuff up here. Oh my gosh, that unit just got wrecked. Holy cow. The gate will get destroyed just as collateral damage. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Damn, everything up here is getting wrecked. Holy moly. We haven't even brought in our missile units yet. It is a thing of beauty. There goes the gate. Alright, so I guess we could bring this guy up and have him just walk through the front door. position our archers right here so they can hit all this stuff. This guy's got regeneration, potion of toughness, all this other stuff. We're going to send him right through the front door, right into this black guard. And these guys are going to take a ton of missile fire up here from our archers. Whoa, he's losing? You should not be losing, buddy. Somehow, somehow they just got their murderous prowess turned on. Talk about crap. Like, get out of here with that. There's no way. Yeah, now they're in trouble. This guy, now he's up here. We'll, uh, we'll attack these black guards. Give this guy the nice little uh, damage resist from Katep. He's awfully slow on his casket. What's the range on this thing? Come on, get over here. Alright, we'll use our potion. Look at him, he's back up to full health almost. Look at this guy, he's a beast. He's a beast, and everything's just dying. It's not even hard. Come up with our tomb guard. Now let's go fight the death hag. Holy crap. <laughs> this is wild. I 
And then we'll just buff this guy up more. Hit this thing again. Oh, yeah, there goes all their morale. They just shattered. There we go. That's how it's done. Well, we didn't even take casualties. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's insane. Look at all this damage. Katap with 86. Uh, 280 between these two. 110 on the Casket of Souls. 59 for the Bone Giant. Absolutely incredible. Zero losses. And this guy's full health. The only damage we took was on our on our mage when we used his item that replenishes the power reserves. You wouldn't dare. I'll occupy that. There we go. Look at that. We're looking good. Oh, is this uh Ushabti? Ooh, look at that. Perfect. See, we didn't have to build an Ushabti building. We got one. Just from doing that. Uh we're gonna go ahead and build this first. Ammunition plus 50% during defensive siege battles. Ooh. Or if we do this, we get a lot of movement range. Um, I think we're doing... Oh, we could get another catapult. We could get another catapult. But I think what we want to do is we want to get this army around this way we want to get them back over here so yeah we're gonna be able to get some ushabti in that force down here though uh, we could probably start recruiting them right now huh where's our ushabti five ushabti ha ah. how many turns uh three turns though so, we want to get this guy back this way. That is what we need to do. Okay, Grand Hero Font Katep. Sand Sweeper. And this is why we have all this awesome uh, casualty replenishment rate. I mean, look at this. He's going to be full uh, almost instantly. It's going to be great. What are we researching? Hero Titans. Okay. Uh, are we missing anything else? Did I forget to do anything? I don't think so. Iron Mountains. Ooh, and we can do more uh, more Tomb Guard. So we'll bring those Tomb Guard into this army. Uh, that we could do right now. So let's let's get rid of some of these weak little skellies. Get some Tomb Guard. Merge up some Spears. And get some Tomb Guard. And that'll start getting this force a little bit stronger. Oh, we could get another unit of carrion too. There we go. And since this isn't a vortex campaign, we don't have to worry about the ritual. I'm not going to bother with their uh, their settlement. Oh, it just ended. <laughs> Anyways, we don't have to worry about like going over there and fighting with them. Oh, they're under siege by the Skaven, I bet. The lizards are. Okay, I think that is good for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know with comments or thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. We made some good progress here, and I look forward to uh, taking a little bit more of a fight to Nagaron. We'll see you in the next one. You have a good afternoon. Thanks for watching, and you take care.